Timeless Concepts from Physics Helpline In this video tutorial, we will discuss a multiple choice question on the work done in rotating a bar magnet inside a magnetic field. The question is as follows. Read the question carefully. The situation is shown in the figure. This is the given bar magnet having magnetic moment m towards right whose value is given as 2.5 joules per tesla. It is placed inside a uniform magnetic field B which is given as 0.2 tesla. The direction of the magnetic moment of the bar magnet is parallel to that of the external field. From this orientation, the magnet is rotated through an angle of 180 degrees. We are required to find the work done in the process. Now for the answer. Let uh, the pole strength of the magnet is equal to m and uh, the length of the magnet PQ is equal to 2L. Therefore, the magnetic moment m is equal to m into 2L. Now we observe that at some arbitrary orientation when of the magnet, when the magnetic moment makes angle theta with the external field the position the magnet is shown in the figure in this orientation. At Q the magnetic pole experiences a force MB towards right and at P the force is MB towards left. Therefore two equal and opposite forces act on the bar magnet separated by a distance OQ. Now OQ by PQ which is 2L. So OQ by 2L is equal to sin theta. Therefore OQ is equal to 2L sin theta. Therefore torque is equal to MB into OQ and M, which is equal to MB into 2L sin theta. Now M into 2L is nothing but the magnetic moment M. Therefore tau is equal to MB sin theta. Now one can easily understand that the value of torque depends on the value of theta. Therefore, different amounts of torque will be acting at different orientations of the magnet. Therefore, the total work done in rotating through 0 to pi 180 degrees, the amount of work will be different at different orientations. Therefore, the total work can be obtained by integration only. Therefore, W is equal to integral of dW and dW is nothing but tau into d theta integrated between limits theta is equal to 0 to theta is equal to pi. Now putting the value of tau which is mb sin theta into d theta integrated between limits 0 to pi. Now m and b being constants it's removed outside the integration therefore w is equal to mb into integral of 0 to pi sin theta d theta. Now integral sin theta d theta is equal to minus cos theta between limits 0 to pi. Now we will absorb the negative sign by interchanging the limits which gives us w is equal to mb into cos theta between limits pi to 0 which is equal to mb into upper limit cos 0 minus lower limit cos pi. Now cos 0 is equal to 1 and cos pi is equal to minus 1. Therefore the quantity inside the bracket is equal to 2. Therefore we get W is equal to 2 MB. Now it is given in the question that M is equal to 2.5 joules per Tesla and B is equal to 
0.2 tesla therefore w putting these values in this equation we get w is equal to 2 into m is equal to 2.5 into b is equal to 0 0.2 which gives us w is equal to 1.0 joules which is the answer to the question therefore the correct option is c this completes the answer to the question thanks for watching if the video is helpful then please like share and subscribe